Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about oblivious message retrieval. It's a joint work with Iran Tromer. Let's first talk about motivation. For anonymous message delivery systems, the sender wants to send some payloads that can be text messages or coin transfers to some central database. In applications like cryptocurrency, it's realized by a bulletin board, and in apps like Signal, it's a central server. Then the recipients want to retrieve the messages addressed to them. There have been lots of work studying about the sending privacy and bulletin board privacy, but how about recipient privacy? How can a recipient retrieve pertinent messages without leaking identity or metadata? Naively, the recipient can simply download the whole database and then distill themselves locally, but this can be too expensive in both bandwidth and computation. Alternatively, we can introduce a third party, which we call a detector. The detector will hold the board and help the recipient distill the board and uh, collect some digests and send back to the recipients that contain the pertinent messages. There have been two recent works. The first one is for the message detection. It provides decoy-based privacy. Therefore, it has a relatively weak privacy guarantee and also uh, the computation and communication cost are both dependent on the privacy it, can, it provides. The second work is called private signaling. It has two constructions, but both, both of them have slightly strong environmental assumptions. The first, one, the first one assumes trusted hardware like Intel SGX. The second one assumes two communicating but not including servers. For functionality, we want to achieve oblivious message detection and, the, and oblivious message retrieval. For detection, only the indices will be sent back to, to the recipients. For retrieval, the payloads will be sent back to the, to the recipients. The first goal is that we want the detector to learn nothing about a recipient. It doesn't learn which messages are pertinent and which messages are not. It also doesn't learn who is doing the retrieval with what keys. The second goal is that we want the digest size to be much smaller than the bulletin size. Ideally, it should only be proportional to the number of pertinent messages. Our solution is clue-based detection retrieval. The recipient holds some secret keys and it uses the secret keys to generate some public keys that contain clue key and detection key. The sender will use the clue key to generate some clue and put it together with a payload to the bulletin board. And then the, the recipient will send the detection key to the detector. The detector will have the board, then use the clues, payloads, and the detection keys to accumulate some digest and send this digest back to, to the recipient. The recipient will then process and get the pay, plain text payloads. Our result is that we have constructed OMR and OMD. Our approach is based on fully homomorphic encryption based on standard ring out the assumption, together with some coding techniques like sparse random linear coding. We have also applied some application-driven optimizations like the hybrid use of BFB and PVW encryption, and also BFB circuit and error optimization, etc. We have fully implemented and benchmarked our constructions using SEAL and policy libraries. For security, our constructions are fully private, and we have also observed that the prior schemes are vulnerable to attacks of envisioned applications like denial of service attacks and key linkability attacks. We define the stronger notions of security and achieve them to against those attacks. Lastly, let's take a look at the performance. You may be wondering uh, whether the use of FEG is practical. As you can see, it concretely is quite practical. It costs roughly $1 per minute message scan based on our benchmark using Google Cloud instances. Asymptotically, our constructions are also the best for a large amount of messages. And furthermore, we have the fastest, fastest detection, even compared to MPC and SGX-based solutions. Lastly, as a bonus, uh, we have a new lattice hardness conjecture about LDB-based encryption. This is needed just for DOS resistance, but it's intriguingly different from the standard LDB assumptions. If you are interested in our work, you're very welcome to watch our full talk. Thank you all very much for listening.